What you guys got another video? Do you have an old Windows 10 PC? Well, you can get this for a pretty cheap price, around about £299. So a lot of people talk about holding on to their old hardware when you can have something like this. It's got a power adapter, it's got a VESA mount, it's got some screws, your warranty and your cable to plug into the power adapter. You've got your HDMI cable, a couple of extra sticky pads for the bottom feet on the actual mini PC. So you've got everything you want to be able to get yourself up and running with a brand new computer with Windows 11 Pro on it. And you can even install other operating systems on this particular device. So let's take a look at the mini PC itself. On the front of the mini PC, we have a clear CMOS button. We also have a 3.5 millimeter combo jack here. Uh, 3.2 type a times two usb ports on there a power button and we also have ventilation on both sides as you can see right here on both sides of the mini pc on the rear we have our dc 19 volts 2.5 gigabit ethernet LAN port hdmi 2.1 port a dp 1.4 port usb 4 and also uh, we have usb 2.0 times two we have two of those on the bottom, we have some ventilation, a VESA mount area, and also some rubber feet. Now, before you start saying, how can you put this up against my PC? Well, if you've got a Core i7-6700K or even an Intel Core i7-7700K, you can see the scores there, 9,627 for an i7-7700K compared to this, which is a Ryzen 5 7545U. And you're getting 20,714 uh, CPU mark score compared to 8,934 for the i7-6700K and the 9627 score for the i7-7700K. It also has six cores and 12 threads. And we have a 16 megabyte cache and the TDP is only 28 watts on this device. It's built in 2025, so why would you want to keep older that old system when this far outperforms that old system for 300 pounds? You can do all your emails, internet browsing, you can do a 4K playback on this particular device. It's got so much more power compared to those old systems. This has more processing power and it uses less power. So everything's a win-win really if you're going to be buying a new mini pc and you don't have to spend a lot of money 300 pounds is not a lot of money for something that is going to bring you up into the modern era you can see it outperforms an i5 12450 h and you can see it outperforms that by quite a bit and that is a 12th generation processor we're talking about so on the Minis Forum website it's the um 750l slim it's 299 pounds at the time of making this video and you've got lpddr5 which is 6400 megahertz speed ram maximum up to 32 gigabytes of ram dual m.2 2280 pci express 4.0 up to four terabytes in those as well you can put and like i said wi-fi 6e and bluetooth 5.3 you can see here we have the size of this compared to a full-blown size uh, pc so what's inside? Let's take a look. We're going to undo these four screws and have a look inside. So if you do need a bit of extra storage, you've got an area where you can put in another M.2 NVMe drive in here. You've got a fan to keep things cool inside here. And there's another fan on the other side as well. A couple of thermal pads which will sit on top of your NVMe drives. And you can see uh, there is a Kingston NVMe one terabyte drive inside here. And you can upgrade this to a four terabyte if you wanted to. And there's another slot right next to it, just above the Wi-Fi card, you'll be able to put another M.2 uh, drive in there. So there should be plenty of storage options for a lot of people. So when people complain about their old PC and now they want to keep it running, why would you want to when you can buy something for 300 pound and get that up and running and something really powerful like this and it doesn't cost a lot of money and it is windows 11 pro compliant and plus you can install linux on it as well let's quickly take a look at the drive you can see there's the drive there uh, for this particular model it has a kingston drive in there and also it's pci express 4.0 times 4. so this pc is plenty powerful to do a lot of tasks for what you need to do so you can see here the sequential reads and writes are 38 92.03 for the reads and the writes is 23 39.74 writes on this particular 
uh, drive. So it's pretty decent. And you've got the 4K readouts there, and the score is 3,867. Not too shabby for a MIDI PC. That costs £300. So let's go ahead and do a CPU benchmark here. Single core score, 2,493. And the multi-core score is 9,012, which isn't too bad for a tip typical mini PC like this. So let's run a GPU uh, benchmark on here as well. We've got 13,035 uh, benchmark score for the GPU. Just going to run through CPU set here so you can see all of the manufacturer motherboard and model number and all of the other information that you might be interested in if you're thinking about purchasing something like a mini PC to replace your aging old Windows 10 system. It's hard to think that this is going to be more powerful than your aging old desktop PC, and it just goes to show how far we've come with these systems. So I'm going to quickly stress test the CPU here just to show you the thermals on here, and you can see we are getting pretty good thermal temperatures, as you would expect from a Minis Forum Mini PC. I've never had one of these from Minis Forum go into the red and cause major overheating issues. And if you're worrying about thermal throttling, it's not thermal throttling either, which means it's right up there. You can see the temperatures for each of the cores right there. They're not going into anything strenuous, like 74.6, the maximum I can see there but which is pretty good. And the cooling is very good on this as well. And it's not that noisy compared to some of the other mini PCs that I've looked at. And you can see right there, thermal throttling, there's none of it going on on this mini PC. And we're pretty much torturing that little CPU inside this system. And it's not having any issues whatsoever, as you would expect from a Minis Forum mini PC. I've never had any thermal issues with their mini PCs. Let's run Jellyfish 400 Mbps. Uh, this is a 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10-bit file, and you can see it's silky smooth playback. So it's going to be able to play back all of your 4K stuff, no problem whatsoever. And for those people that are holding on to a really old computer thinking it's still worth something, this is only £300. So you're not really holding on to a really expensive computer. The 3D Mark scores is 1,751, which is pretty good for a little small budget mini PC like this one. And there's a full breakdown on the screen right there, how they got to that uh, score by looking at the graphics score and the CPU score. 4K playback here, streaming, no problem or whatsoever. Uh, you get a few drop frames as you start the video and then it stabilizes and you get no more drop frames whatsoever on this. You might get the odd one or two here and there if you... Uh, drag the video file but other than that gameplay on this i'm not going to torture it to death trying to play uh, 1080p games because it does have an onboard gpu on here and what we're looking at here is uh you know retro games it can handle these no problem at all and if you're rocking an old system like you probably are if you've got an old windows 10 system you're probably not into gaming and stuff like that anyway because most of those would end up with input lag and issues if you've got a big modern day gpu in them so something like this is pretty much going to be a replacement for that old windows 10 system i know a lot of people don't like spending money but when you're hanging on to something that is getting outperformed by something like this it's it's hard to believe why you would hold on to it and you may be saying what about if i've got more than one monitor well this can have triple independent displays on it through hdmi 2.1 and dp 1.4 and the usb uh, 4 port you can use all of these as your main display on this device which i think is outstanding for a little mini pc so there's really no reason to hang on to these old systems in the modern era because these will outperform it and it's quite unbelievable the performance on these little mini pcs now because i always see in the comment section is why would you want to buy a mini pc what are you going to use it for while they're sitting there with their old aging uh, windows 10 system with a i mean if you've got a third gen or fourth gen this will smoke it literally and if you've got a modern day uh say i7 seventh gen this still outperforms it by quite a bit by over double and another thing i see people doing is looking on ebay for old systems like dell optiplexes and things like that when this far outperforms all of those uh, systems now granted if you want a desktop for gaming and you need a big large graphics card then by all means uh, look at some of the more powerful options out there you ain't going to be a dedicated graphics card on something like this but most of the comments i've seen 
is that people just want something to browse the web, watch YouTube videos, send some emails and do some uh, light video editing and things like that. And this will take care of all of that for you. And if this one is not quite what you need, have a look on their website because they have plenty to choose from at different specifications and different pricing. If you need something a bit more powerful, they have that covered as well. Anyway, that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. All the information for this product will be in the video description as well. This product was sent for review by uh, Minis Forum. All opinions are my own and no one is reviewing this video before it's released and no money has changed hands for this review. Thanks again. Bye for now. <music>